So as we lay in our winter hay supplies on our operations, we often submit samples of those forages for analysis. And oftentimes where we fall short is we don't utilize the numbers that we receive back from the laboratory to better manage our forage resources. And so one of the rules of thumb that I often share with producers is 7 9 11. And those numbers would represent the dietary protein requirements of cows as they advance from the post weaning stages all the way through 30 to 40 days post calving as we get into the early stages of lactation. So if we talk about those numbers more in depth, 7% crude protein is the dietary protein requirement of a cow post weaning. And so most of our dormant native range is gonna be around 5%. And so we need a diet that's gonna be approximately 7% crude protein to meet that cow's requirements. As we move into the second and third stages of gestation, it's gonna take a diet that's approximately 9% total dietary crude protein to meet the requirements of that cow during those latter stages of gestation. Once that cow calves, it's gonna require a diet that's around 11% crude protein to meet those cow's requirements 30 to 60 days uh, post calving. So we can utilize those numbers to better match our forage resources that we have available. On many operations, we have forages that would range from, from 3 to 5% crude protein in some of those uh, more mature grass forages that have been put up, all the way to alfalfa that's going to be on the other end of that extreme of being somewhere between 15 and 25% crude protein. And so we can begin to target those forage resources that we have those analytical results on to better match those to those cows' requirements. If we need some additional forage to, to replace any grazed available forage that would be uh, lacking in our pastures as we move post calving into the fall and winter months, those lower quality forages that would range in crude protein content of somewhere between around 7 to 9 percent would be a good fit at that time. As we move into the second and third trimesters of gestation, we can utilize those higher quality forages that we may have available, being somewhere between 10 and 12 percent crude protein. The higher quality grass haze, even small cereal haze, might fit that st particular stage of the cow's production cycle. As we move coast calving, that's where we really need to reserve those higher quality forages that we have available to us for use at that time. In some instances, if we have alfalfa available, we can blend those forages with some of those lower quality forages to meet those cow requirements. Another good rule of thumb to utilize when trying to, to maximize the use of our forage inventory and resources would be how much is a cow going to consume on a daily basis or how much forage will a cow consume each day. And a good rule of thumb there is that a cow will consume two to two and a half pounds of dry forage per hundred pounds of body weight. So on a 1200 pound beef cow, we're looking at 24 to 30 pounds per day of forage as those would be required for those cows as they move uh, through the winter months. Another important factor to keep in mind is that we do have a waste estimate. Cattle often don't consume all the forage that we put in front of them and so it's a good idea to account for about 10 percent forage losses in many of our programs that are out there. So hopefully this does a better job of allowing producers to maximize their forage resources as they move through the winter months and take the next step in terms of utilizing the results of those forage analysis to better match the nutrient requirements of their herd as they go through the winter months.